Recently, I've made a video about the history of grinder meta and build a boat for treasure, and it blew up my channel. And I've gotten hundreds of comments, many of which have been telling me of different grinder designs that I did not cover in that video. And first of all, I want to say thank you for all the support in that. And second of all, I want to say that in this video, I will be covering those grinders that I didn't show before. So our first grinder of this video is going to be called a catapult. And I'll show you how to make that here. So first you're going to load that up. And you'll see you have this shaft connected by two old wheels, which is launched with these thrusters. And you have this capsule box that you detach with the butter so it can get, be launched. And you see on the sides here, this shaft goes all the way through the wall. And you might be wondering why we do that. Well, it's because we don't have the select all to unanchor. So we have to launch the boat to unanchor. And then you would get in. I said you'd get in. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. And you'll flick a lever to attach the butter and launch yourself. And would you look at that? We got to the end of the medium stages. Not a bad run for such an old grinder. So let's see how much money we make for that. Yep, we registered most of the stages we went through, so not terrible. This next grinder that I'm going to show you is going to be called a balloon stick. And I'll show you how to make it here. So first you'll want two sticks of equal size um, with a thruster in the middle. And you don't want it on the center, you want it slightly offset like that. And we'll place that second stick here. And next what you want to do is you want to... Oh, hold on, these aren't the same length. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's too short. So, there we go. And on top of those blocks that you put on the ends of the sticks, you want to place nine balloons. And then you're going to want two switches. I'm going to use these ones, but you can use any switch. And you want... The first switch should be the balloons, and the second switch should be the thruster. Now we need some chairs on our grinder here. And we are all set to go. So let's see how well this does. It should have let me in. So first activate the balloons, and then once you're in there, you activate the thruster. And would you look at that? We're at the end waterfall. Now we just gotta get all the way to the end itself. And there we are. Overall, this is a really useful grinder, and I see people using it still nowadays. This next grinder is called a jetpack thruster, and first what you're going to want to do is you have to place an ultra jetpack. So you do need Robux to build this, and you put it on your back. And once you have it on your back, you're going to take a ultra thruster with match rotation, rotate it so it's forwards, and if it falls off, just try again. And there we go, don't need the second one. And now you just fly with the thruster. I overshot it a little bit, but that's not much of a problem. This is a pretty simple grinder that I saw people use pretty often in the old days. Now, this next one was called a spring wheel, but I could not get it to work. Um, it was supposed to be like this spring with like pretty much these bars that fall off and you would move with thrusters, but I could not get it to stop falling down for some reason. So unfortunately we cannot include this one in the video. Now this next grinder here is called a tall jet, and I'll show you how to build that here. It's really simple. 
So usually when you're building a jet, you'll have um, like your jet, and then nearby you'll have your pilot seat. Um, I have one over here. I got to delete that first. And you'll fly like that. And when you go through um, the zones, it slows you down. And that's not good enough for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this jet and we're going to lift it high off of the ground and connect it to the chair with a separate bar as we'll build that here. And now once we have that, we're going to take the jet and the bar and turn the collision off so that we can go through stages and have a solid roof. And now we launch the vehicle and you'll see uh, we can use our jet that's up there to move our seat down here. And when we go into a stage, the jet is outside of the stage so it can go at its max speed, but you're inside of the stage so you can collect the gold instead of the jet being slowed down. And there we are at the end. Now you could do this with red thrusters as well, it would just take twice as long and you would need two red thrusters since you would run out of fuel and more of them before you reach the end. Overall, you could still use this grinder today. Our next grinder here is called a portal stick or something like that. I've never actually known what they were called exactly. And I'll load that up here. And how this thing works is you have this long stick with two portals on each end of it. And um, the portal goes into that wheel, so I'm going to get a jetpack so I don't have to go through that portal and walk all the way across the stick. And the way this works is I'll detach this butter here. And when I push this portal into the wheel, it teleports our whole stick forwards. And you'll see if I go with the select tool here and I detach the wheel, everything else is anchored while the wheel itself is anchored. And somehow that lets the wheel get teleported, moving the whole stick. And I'll go and you'll see how fast this is here. And as you can see there, we reached the end without too much of a problem. Um, the aliens were a little close. Now I'm going to select that and unanchor it so it's not stuck teleporting for an eternity. And overall, this is a grinder that I've been seeing people use again recently today, and it's not too bad because it's really reliable for gradient gold. Now this next grinder here is called a fork, and it's one that I did see people use pretty frequently in the old days. And it's really simple, it's just a shaft like this with a heavy object at the end and then from that heavy object you put a pilot seat to control the vehicle and that is literally it so i'm going to launch this boat here and you'll see we're going to wiggle ourselves back and forth to poke forwards with the front of the quote fork and we'll see how fast this gets to the end here So at this point, I could not get forwards because the giant rocks at the end were blocking me and the alligators were eating the sticks, so I made a bad roll forwards. So yeah, at that point, I would have preferred to have a walker, but um, this grinder, it worked. It worked. Now, this next grinder here is called a servo glitch, and this is what we had before the uh, flying hinge glitches. So first, you place a seat with a cake in it, 
And then you want to take any block um, and scale it from where it's sticking out in front of you so that it's flush with the front of the seat. And then you're going to take a servo and you're going to place it with the gray bar facing inwards. And now when you delete the seat with everything on anchored and add a pink candy, you have a pretty quick flying glitch, just like the firework one. And we'll fly to the end right here. And here we are at the end. Uh, overall, this glitch was not too bad in the old days. Um, I was one of the only people that used it, but it was very efficient. Now, this next grinder here is called a Minesweeper, and I'll be showing you why it's called that. So it might just look like a generic fast car to you, but if I take this tool and show you the front, we have a giant piece of plastic that's invisible and has collision off in front of us. So you'll see, we can drive forwards like a normal car. Um, it's not weighing us down because it's plastic, but when we run into an obstacle, it just breaks it before it even reaches our wheels. Um, which is why it's called the Minesweeper, because it just sweeps up everything in front of it. And we'll see how quickly we can reach the end with this. So yeah, that run was kind of slow. Um, I lagged a lot, so a lot of times I was hitting rocks anyways. But overall, this grinder was pretty good uh, when you didn't have much else to use back in the old days. Alright, this next grinder here is called the uh, Hinge Glitch. And it's a really simple one. Um, all you need is a seat and turn anchor block off. Then you put a cake on your body. And then on that cake, you put a hinge. Make sure you don't get it stuck um, inside the cake. And then you can fly. And you're going to take a pink candy to make it go faster, like you do with most of these firework glitch ripoffs. And now you can go fly to the end. And we'll see how quickly this goes. Well, that's unfortunate. I would have reached in if it weren't for my game disconnecting there, but that is the hinge glitch for you. Um, it's alright, I'd say. Now, this last grinder is actually one from last video that you guys wanted me to fix because I apparently really didn't show it right. So, um, I will show you guys how to build it here. It's the glue glitch where you have like this little platform, but they told me to put something heavier like gold in the middle. And then also what I forgot to do last video was um, actually placing a seat in the middle of the uh, hinge here so that you could line yourself up easier. And um, they said that doing these steps um, with the glue glitch, um, got my hand stuck. I guess I'm always gonna get a hand stuck. Oh well. and. If I use shift lock as well, they said, it'll be easier to control it. So we'll see how this goes here. I see I still have a little trouble staying straight.
And there you go. You guys have your revised glue glitch. Um, I still don't like it myself, even if it works well. Um, but at least you guys got it fixed now. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and have a good day.